At this time, let us receive Apostle Anita Reynolds. Amen. Amen. Amen and amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I just want to thank everyone for joining uh, uh, me today. Hallelujah. I want to give honor to my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Uh, without him, I am nothing. I want to also give honor to uh, Chief Apostle uh, Kevin and Apostle Shelley Barber for allowing me to be able to minister and uh, impart the word of God to the body of Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. So I would like to start out with prayer and then we will see what the Lord has for us today. Amen. Let us pray. Father God, in the name of Jesus, Lord, we thank you. We praise you, Lord God, for your many works, your loving kindness towards your people. We thank you, Lord God, for allowing us to even come boldly to the throne, Lord God. We ask you right now for forgiveness, Lord God, for anything that we have done knowingly or unknowingly. Father, we ask you to create in us a clean heart and renew a right spirit within us, oh God. You said in your word, Lord God, that a good man steps is ordered by the Lord, and we praise your holy name that you have ordered our steps, Lord God, to be in service today. Thank you for hollowing out out this time uh, for your worship, oh God. And we worship you today, God. We say thank you today, God. We're grateful for you today, God. And we will forever love you. And now tonight, uh, today, God, Lord, I ask you right now to decrease me as you increase yourself. God, impart unto your people that they will have understanding and be able to implement Lord God, the word of God, let none of me be shown, Lord God, but all of you, that the Holy Spirit have his way in this service. In Jesus' name we pray, amen and amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah. I like to say welcome, welcome to everybody. If we have any visitors that are on the line today, uh, word and praise would like to welcome you to uh, our 1130 worship service, amen. Hallelujah. So you know, I don't be before you long. You know how we do word and praise. Amen. Doesn't take God a long time to do what he wants to do with us. Uh, so if you would turn with me to uh, the book of John, amen, the book of John, chapter 16, the book of John, chapter 16, and we will have, we will see what the Lord wants to put in our spirits today. Amen. And if I had to give this uh, sermon a title, it would be the Lord is coming back. The Lord is coming back. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. John chapter 16. We're going to start uh, in verse, uh, let's see. We're going to start in verse 29. John chapter 16, starting at the 29th verse, amen. The Bible reads, his disciples said unto him, lo, now speakest thou plainly and speaketh no, no proverb. Now are we sure that thou knowest all things and needest not that any man should ask thee. By this we believe that thou camest forth from God. Verse 31 says, Jesus answered them, do you now believe? Verse 32, it says, behold, the hour cometh, yea, is now come, that that shall be scattered every man to his own, and shall leave me alone, and yet I have not, I am not alone, because the Father is with me. These things I have spoken unto you, that in me ye might have peace in the world you shall have tribulation but be of good cheer i have overcome the world amen hallelujah so so the in the beginning of the chapter uh uh the lord is speaking to his um disciples and he's talking about the works of the holy spirit amen He's talking, he's talking to them about the Holy Spirit, but yet he's still speaking in parables. But the section that I want to focus on today is, is how God, where the Lord Jesus, he just, he just asked them, do you believe, amen? Do you now 
believe, amen, hallelujah, because we have people in the church, even right now, and they have been around for 25, 30, 40 years in the church, and, and they don't believe. Amen. They, they will hang around the fire, but yet they won't catch on fire. They won't catch the anointing. Hallelujah. And so, well, now that we are here, uh, uh, the question is now, do we believe? And see, the, the Lord was telling them, now is the hour that cometh and is now come that you shall be scattered. Huh. You're going to be scattered. Hallelujah. Because of the way things are. And if we want to really look at how what's in the Bible versus what is going on in the world, we can see that time is winding up. Hallelujah. We can see that time is winding up. Uh, if we want to really look at the world events, if you look at uh, B BBC or CNN or Fox, Fox 5 or ABC or any of those stations that has news, you would see that there are mass killings going on. There, there are, are, are daily, daily you will find that people are getting shot. People are dying. People are not necessarily dying from a pandemic, but they still are having strokes and heart attacks and things like that. And they are, they are, they are moving. Hallelujah. They are, they are moving along. But let me tell you something. Let me tell you one thing. When God's hand is in it and, and God is looking, hallelujah, for those who he has called, he, we must understand that we must answer the call. We must give an eternal yes. So when God is saying, I'm coming back, when I, I, this is my time where I'm telling you that you don't understand or you don't discern the times. If you turn with me to uh, Ecclesiastes uh, chapter three, hallelujah, starting at the first verse, uh, we will say, listen, listen to what the Bible says. Ecclesiastes, third, the third chapter, starting at the verse first, it says, to everything there is a season and a time to every purpose under the heaven. That means God has a timetable. He has a schedule that, that we are on that as soon as our time is up, he's coming back, amen? And your purpose in God, it is important for us to answer God's call, amen? He said, many are called, but few are chosen. And if you are chosen to do a specific work in the body of Christ, we are to get in place, amen? Hallelujah. The Bible says in, in, in Ecclesiastes 3, chapter verse 2, it says a time to be born and a time to die, a time to plant and a time to pluck up that which is planted, a time to kill and a time to heal, a time to break down and a time to build up. See, we are going through all of these different stages, even in our life. It doesn't necessarily mean it's a world thing. We are going through these things in our personal life as well. There's a time to plant. There's a time for us to plant the seeds of God. There's a time that we need to plant into our families. We need to impart the word. Well, there are times where we need to make sure that our children are okay. There are times where we have to make sure our spouses are okay, all right? And so now we, we are, we're looking at how the world is forming, even, even if you look at uh, uh, the European scale, the European scale is they're trying to put everybody on one monetary system, okay, one monetary system where you don't have to go through the exchange to go through different countries anymore, that your money that you have in your pocket will be a worldwide system, okay, we're moving towards that. In the name of Jesus, we got to be aware of what is going on. We got to be prayerful and mindful because these are the things that God is, is, is showing us even right now. We got to look at the, even the signs that are in the heavens. We have eclipses that are, 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 are not, have not been here for hundreds of years and all of a sudden they're starting to show up back to back. We got red moons that have actually appeared, hallelujah, in, 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 uh, in the last year or so with their falling stars that are happening in the atmosphere. And so we have to pay attention when God is giving us signs and not just taking it as a scientific wonder. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. We got to look at it and we got to say, this is from God. This is a sign that he's given us. We got wars on top of wars. We got a war right now that, 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 that's going on. Hallelujah. We got wars in Israel and, and, and we got wars uh, uh, across all the nations 
things. Hallelujah. But you know what? The thing of it is, is this right here. The Bible says there will be wars and rumors of wars. Even in our land, we got we got wars on racism and, and we got wars on drugs and wars on the opioid uh, uh, epidemic. We got wars everywhere. But guess what? Those are the signs of the time. Amen. God said, discern the time. Glory be to God. Don't take it as a light thing. Don't even take it as a, 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 a thing where, you know, it, it's just normal. No, no, no. It's not normal. No, it's in God. We got to make sure that we understand that it is the Lord. Hallelujah. That is talking to his people. And there's a fire that's coming down. There's a judgment that's going to be on the earth. Glory be to God. There's a judgment that is coming from God. Glory be to God. And you know what? We need to be in place. We need to make sure that the body of Christ is ready. We got to make sure that the body of Christ is equipped, hallelujah, with the word. We have people that are natural fighters. We got people that don't know how to fight, neither in the physical, in the spirit. But hallelujah, glory be to God when they come in the kingdom, hallelujah, God will teach you spiritual warfare. He will teach you, hallelujah, the weapons of your warfare, glory be to God. He will show you how to do certain things in the spirit realm, hallelujah. Now we're going to go back to the scriptures Ecclesiastes chapter 3 verse 4 it says uh, it's a time to weep and it's a time to laugh a time to mourn and it's a time to dance it's a time to cast away stones and it's a time to gather stones together a time to embrace and a time to refrain from embracing come on because now we, we're dealing with the times in the season glory be to God but I'm here to tell you that we are on schedule hallelujah for God to, to for Jesus to return to get the church amen He's not coming back for the brick and mortar. He's coming back for his people. We are the church. Amen. Glory be to God. The Bible says in verse six, it says a time to get and a time to lose. It's a time to keep and a time to cast away. A time to win and a time to sow. A time to keep silent and a time to speak. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Sometimes it requires us to be quiet and let God do his work. Hallelujah. It comes a time when we need to speak out and we need to say what is going on in the spirit realm. Hallelujah. The prophets right now, everybody is talking in a grin that there's blessings. Hallelujah. That started out this month. Glory be to God. And we're going to be walking under showers of blessing hallelujah when god is making promises he's making promises to us hallelujah it's not a gloom and doom message but it's telling you to get in line for where you need to be glory be to god answer the call on your life this is just a warning that you need to go ahead and get in place stop trying hallelujah to get yourself together stop trying to put down the cigarettes before you come stop trying to put down the weed before you come stop trying to put down the alcohol before you come hallelujah the Bible Bible says the Lord wants you just to come. He didn't say clean yourself up because if you was able to clean your own self up, then what you need Jesus for? Come on here, somebody. What you need God for if you can clean your own self up? We got to lean on the hand of the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. So in verse eight, it says uh, it's a time to love and a time to hate. It's a time of war and it's a time of peace. And then it says this in verse nine, what profit hath he that worketh in that wherein he laboreth? What is the prophet? Hallelujah. He says, I have seen the travail which God have given to the sons of men to be exercised in it. Hallelujah. Because uh, 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 in, 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 in Ecclesiastes, Solomon, he, he, he said, that is all in vain. Glory be to God. So all this stuff we're doing in vain, but whatever we do in Christ will last. Glory be to God. Whatever we do in Christ will last. If you turn with me, hallelujah. Glory be to God. Let's see, if you turn with me back to the book of, um, let's start where we, let's go back where we, where we had started from, glory be to God, uh, John chapter 16, hallelujah, John chapter 16, and we was, um, I want to, I want to start back, and I want to break some things down, hallelujah. In verse, we'll start in verse 32, he says, behold, the hour cometh. Yea, is now come that you shall be scattered every man in his own and shall leave me alone. 
Uh huh. And, and yet I am not alone because the father is with me. And that is what we need to understand that God will never leave us in any type of situation, turmoil, circumstance, tribulation, trial, plot, ploy, or any of the like. God will is always with us. The Lord promised, he said, I will not forsake you. I will not leave you, neither will I forsake you. That means that every situation and problem that you have in your life, even right now, God is with us. The problem with us is we're so used to having a, a someone physical right there. But see, God is a spirit, amen. And so he's saying, I am going to be with you. And he not only am I going to be with you, I'm also going to help you. And I went over these scriptures last night. If you want to go uh, over to my page and, and listen to what I spoke on last night, he said, not only am I going to be with you, I'm going to strengthen you. And not only will I strengthen you, I'm going to help you. Glory be to God. And so God will open up doors where man has shut them. But when God opened up a door, no man can shut. Glory be to God. And God will close doors that are supposed to be closed in your life. Amen. Man, he will give you these deliverances. He will give you these promises. Glory be to God. And he will never leave you. Neither will he forsake us. Amen. He was, or he will always be there. And he, and Jesus even said, and the father is also with me because I'm not alone. Glory be to God. 33 says, these things I have spoken unto you that in me, in me, you might have peace because this is what the end result is. We have to have peace. Glory be to God, because these things can keep us so worked up, okay, and make us tired and, and all of the, uh, uh, the financial issues and all of the issues with our families and relationship issues and, and, and things on the job and, and, and things, you know, with, with, with people and friends and, you know, and all of these different types of things where we will have an issue. God wants us to make sure that we know that he's there, hallelujah, and that we, he, we are in it for the peace. We're in it for the peace. Glory be to God, because we have to find peace within ourselves. Glory be to God. When the Holy Spirit comes upon you, when you have certain situations, I had a little situation that went on last week, and then all of a sudden a peace just came upon me because I, I had to relax in the Holy Ghost because once I took it to God, I left it there. Glory be to God. I said, God, well, you're going to have to handle this because I can't handle it. And we need to understand that, that when we leave, when we have something and we pray about it and we give it to the Lord, we can't pick it back up. Glory be to God. You do your part, leave it at the feet of Jesus. Amen. Because you know what? Leave that thing on the altar because you can't do no more than what you have already done. Glory be to God. And then you might as well go ahead and count it all joy. Go ahead and count it all joy because it, at the back of the book, at the end, if you read the back of the book, we win. Glory be to God. We just got to work out from where we at to the end of the book. All this in between, that's where we got to work this out at. But we got to praise God. We got to worship God. And we got to do all these things, hallelujah, uh, in, in honor of the Lord. We got to represent. Glory be to God. We got to represent the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. We can't be carrying on and and, 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 and falling all the way down into depression where we're losing our mind. Glory be to God. People are right now, they, they are losing their mind. Hallelujah. Because they have too much pressure on them. They got too many things going on at one time and they have no peace. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Even when Jesus was on the ship, and they thought that the, the disciples thought that they were going to die because the storm came. Glory be to God. This is a good example. The storm came. Hallelujah. What storm came into your life where you thought that you just lost hope and you thought that you was not going to come out? You didn't think that the Lord heard your prayer. You didn't think that nobody heard you and you were just going to drown in it all. Hallelujah. But when, but when the disciples went down in the bottom of the boat where Jesus was sleeping, see, because this is, this is my thing. If the ship is rocking like that and the, and the, and the thunder is booming and the rain is falling and the wind is, is swirling. Hallelujah. But you got, you got Jesus at the bottom of the boat, not bothered, you know, at peace and not only at peace, but sleep. Ha. Come on here. 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. See, we got to take a lesson in this right here. Glory be to God. See, because this is where our faith is supposed to be able to kick in. We're not supposed to be like the disciples running around, scared and afraid, like, oh, my God, this storm is going to kill us all. Oh, my God. You know, Jesus, they waking hell up. Do you care that we getting ready to die? <laughs> Do you care that we are about to perish in this storm? Do you care? Oh, my God. I can tell you right now, if you take your problem to Jesus, oh, yes. Oh, yes, God cares. The Holy Spirit will work it out. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. He will work it out on your behalf. When they woke Jesus up, Jesus just looking at your whole year of little faith. Where your faith at? Where your faith at? See, because let me help you with something. I'm going to help somebody real good. Listen to me good. I'm going to help you real good here. You had a problem five years ago. And you thought you wasn't coming out. You had a problem three years ago. And you thought you wasn't coming out. You had a problem yesterday. And you thought you wasn't coming out. But guess what, saints? Guess what? <laughs> when you really want to add it up and when you really want to look at it all. Hallelujah. The same God that took you out five years ago, three years ago. Two years ago and even yesterday is the same God that will deliver you today. Glory be to God. Because he hasn't gone anywhere. Hallelujah. You got to remember when the Lord delivered you out of those trials and tribulations. Those are supposed to be testimonies and memorials of your life. So when you come up against something in your life that will kind of shake you a little bit, glory be to God, or shake your faith, you got to look behind you and see where God has brought you from. Lord have mercy. That's a preach all by itself. Lord have mercy. You got to look back and look at the testimonies over your life and see what God had worked out on your behalf when you thought that the Lord wasn't thinking about you. Hallelujah. When you thought he wasn't thinking about you and, 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 and he took you out. But guess what? But guess what? All of these things right here that we're going through right now is leading up to Christ coming back. Hallelujah. Because see, in the middle of it all, we still got to believe. Lord have mercy. We still got to believe. And see, we always got to be, we always in that middle. We always in between what God has promised and what God is going to do. And every trial and tribulation that God has in our life, he is going to make sure that he delivers on his promise because his promise, hallelujah, is, is, is yay and amen. That's the blessing of the Lord, amen. Yay and amen. But God is listening and seeing everything that we do and even how we respond to what he has allowed in our life. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. So when you exercise your faith and you know how to war in the spirit, glory be to God. And you know how to, uh, you got different principles that God has taught you along the way. When he comes back and he returns for his people, glory be to God. There's going to be a big supper. Hallelujah. There's going to be a big supper. Hallelujah. And then, hallelujah, he's coming back. Hallelujah. Again, with the army. See, because that's why we got to learn how to fight now. <laughs> Jesus, help us right now. We got to learn how to fight now. Glory be to God. Those little imps and, and, and little tricks that the enemy and those little smoke screens that the devil always try to throw up in your face. Oh, yeah, oh, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. This ain't nothing but training. <laughs> that's what you got to look at this as. This is nothing but your training. Hallelujah. For the end time, this is your training. Glory be to God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. The Bible says in John 16 and 33, it says, these things I have spoken unto you. This is Christ speaking. Hallelujah, take this personal. He says, these things I have spoken unto you that in me, you might have peace. Glory be to God. In him, you might have peace. That um, that, uh, that, that un, uh, unspeakable joy Hallelujah, that you have in the Lord. You can't have, you can't have joys lest you do have peace. Glory be to God. They go hand in hand. Hallelujah. 
The Bible says in the world, you shall have tribulation. He didn't say that it's going to be roses, peaches, and cream. He didn't say that we're going to skip along the rocks and, and, and go amongst the tulips. He didn't say that. He said, in the world, you shall have tribulation. He already knew. Even back then, he already knew that we were going to have the tribulation. He already knew that we was going to have the financial issue. He already knew we were going to have the, the, the relationship issue. He already knew, hallelujah, that, that, that we might not have had enough food in our house. He already know, hallelujah, that we might not even have a house. Okay, we might not have a home to go to. He already knew. These are tribulations, glory be to God. But he said, but, see, when he put a butt behind it, Lord, have mercy. As long as you got a butt behind it, you're you, you good. He says, but be of good cheer. Be of good cheer. Hallelujah. That means you don't have to worry. You don't have to be afraid because the enemy will always take fear and throw it up in our face. He will always use the strategic plan of fear to get us to do or coerce us to do what he wants us to do. But we need to be of good cheer in the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. We need to be in good cheer. Hallelujah. For the sake of what Jesus said. Amen. He said, he said this, he said, but be of good cheer, I have overcome the world. That means that if he has overcome, that means we are overcomers, amen. We have overcome the world just like Christ said he has overcame. So that means that hold your head up, my brother, hold your head up, my sister. We got the victory. It may not manifest right now. It might not have manifested yesterday, last year, 10 years ago, five years ago, or even a day. But let me tell you something. It's going to manifest because we have the victory. Amen. We have the victory. Amen. Hallelujah. We need to rejoice on that one right there. We have the victory because Jesus overcame the world. Woo! Glory be to God. Hallelujah. So that is what the word of the Lord is today. Amen. That is what God wants to speak into our spirits today in the name of Jesus. Amen. And I pray, hallelujah, that someone has gotten the word in them today, that whatever was imparted, that it gave you strength and that it blessed your heart and your soul, amen. And that the Lord, hallelujah, will look down on each and every person, every family that's represented on this line and send a special blessing and let the manifestation of God, hallelujah, manifest itself today in Jesus name, that you will have a testimony that you will be able to speak upon and amen. And, and it will help another brother or sister in the body of Christ in Jesus name. Amen. Hallelujah. Uh, back over to minister Faye. Glory be to God. Thank you, Lord. 